Excellencies, delegates, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon to everyone. The Philippines would like to express its heartfelt gratitude to the government and people of Fiji for hosting this regional conference for Asia and the Pacific and for its efficient organization with the FAO through its regional and country offices. We welcome this opportunity to discuss the alignment of FAO's work to regional priorities and reinforce its support to members in achieving the 2030 Agenda on Sustainable Development and other international commitments. We appreciate the progress and lessons learned in the implementation of the priorities during the 2016-17 biennium. We concur with the five regional initiatives endorsed by the FAO conference in July 2017 for the next biennium and would urge FAO to sustain its support to members in pursuing these priorities while taking into account cross-cutting elements of policy and, government, uh, and governance, empowerment of women, and capacity development. We load FAO's assistance in addressing climate change, disaster risk reduction, and building resilience, and encourage the development of strategies that are swift and sustainable in addressing malnutrition and food insecurity during times of disaster and conflict. We urge FAO to continue its support in consolidating and strengthening comprehensive policies for family farming in the framework of the UN Decade of Family Farming and to help harness their full potential to contribute in fulfilling the Agenda 2030 goals and targets. This is in recognition of the vital role of family farming in achieving food security and nutrition as well as in rural employment income creation in the appropriate management of natural resources. Mainstreaming gender equality and uplifting the quality of life of the rural youth should also be enhanced. We encourage FAO, the Codex Alimentarius Commission, and the IPPC to continue its close collaboration with relevant UN agencies such as WHO and OIE to put safety issues and with WTO to tackle food safety standards and ensure that such standards and requirements do not become unnecessary barriers to trade. We wish to underscore the importance of GIAS as a model for sustainable agricultural production systems. We look forward to FAO continuous facilitation of South-South and Triangular cooperation and the strengthening of partnership with the civil society the private sector, migrants, and diaspora uh, communities to enable our strategies and actions to be more holistic. Mr. Chairman, the conference is being held on the occasion of the 40th anniversary of FAO country representations in Asia and the Pacific, and we wish to extend our warm congratulations to both FAO and its members. This is indeed an opportunity to highlight FAO's country-level cooperation with host governments and the importance of FAO's long-term presence and technical assistance in the field. The Philippines was among the 34 nations that founded FAO in 1945, and its country office officially opened in 1978. Over the past 40 years, FAO has reported to have implemented more than 400 national projects in the country, reaching over 504,000 farming and fishing families, or over 2.5 million people. In addition, the Philippines also received support through FAO regional and global projects. We highly appreciate and look forward to nurturing this enduring commitment and partnership with FAO. Thank you very much. <laughs>